questions, but I just ask that um, I appreciate that everybody in this room is really passionate about this subject and um, that we've all got really strong opinions about this subject. Um, I just ask that it's not a platform for further speech making, it's really just about questions. So if you have any, please um, just raise your hand and I'll come and find you. Robert. Um, the question I have is probably uh, two actual manufacturers. Is that I'm not a regional secretary of the First Union, and congratulations to any of you for having this uh, forum. Um, is that uh, our union is in two, if you like, manufacturing areas one textile, one wood. Um, every time we have redundancies, and we've been having redundancies and closures at infinitum in both of those sectors for the last uh, five or six years. We're always told when we get there that it's the dollar, it's the dollar, it's the dollar. So much so that some have said they've even got full order books, but for every cubic metre that they were going to export, they're going to lose a dollar. So why do it? My question is that those people are telling that to us. You two guys are telling that to us. And let's not beat around the bush. When it comes to the representatives of employers in New Zealand, Business New Zealand and EMA, whenever it's put on them, they are saying exactly the opposite and undermining what you're trying to do and what we're trying to do. They're safe manufacturing and safe jobs. <laughs> what we do. That's a political question. <laughs> All right? Let me let me let me explain. If we talk about export business in, in New Zealand, there are about 12,500 of them. About the same numbers we've got dairy farms. We're not counting dairy farms, individual farms as export businesses. There are, it depends how you measure it, 300,000 firms in New Zealand. And so suppose I'm the CEO, or I put that hat on, of an employer's organization. The sort of this corner here, the exporters. The rest of you are domestic economy. And so if I ask the question, where do you want the exchange rate, what happens? The domestic economy wins every time there's more of them. That's a political reality. The problem is, in the medium term, we don't have an economy that functions. So, so how does the majority respond? Well, if we go to the early days of inflation targeting, that's all we do. There's nothing we can do about the exchange rate. We hit the GFC, and the world changes big time. And other economies decide they're actually going to defend themselves. And so the, the, the idea that there is no alternative is dead today. There is an alternative, and we need to be debating what that alternative is. And it's about the medium term, it's not about the immediate. You go out to buy your flat screen TV today, or no decent jobs for your kids tomorrow. That's the choice that confronts us.